What's going on, everyone? This is take two. Kind of, well, not really take two. I started talking before I pushed play, after I lit it. And I just figured that out, so I pushed play again. But So, I'm not going to do a bunch of bullshit right now. I'm just going to clarify, let you guys know. Let you guys... Okay, so, like, everyone wants to act like they're some kind of tough guy and big shot and have all this money and whatnot. But you always see them pandering and begging on camera collaboration means begging it means i'm broke please give me some please give me some i'm broke please give me some again like seems to me like all these collaborations with tiffany's idea so that's why that dumb bitch is done 100 percent done like i don't want to have to wake up and keep yelling on her on instagram but she can just st stop stalking me because someone named roxy tried to follow the account that's okay look, it's i have control of it now i don't have control over the email so if i ever like get suspended or have or something like that i can never get back into that account again i should really just make another account and delete that one but um someone named roxy tried to follow me on that so i yelled at tiffany and called her what she is I, Get her used goods wannabe producer whore who hangs out with losers and makes auto tune music for less than fourth of a half of a cent. Because if she wasn't, she wouldn't do that shit that she does. If any of the money she made, if any of this paid her any money, she would just be making songs every fucking month, right? If I had the magical skill of turning, you know, chords and notes and all that bullshit into money, I would be doing it every fucking day. They don't. Why not? Because it's not about money, it's about something else. I will say this. Since Miss Tiffany wants to keep on bragging about how powerful and important she is in her little shitty clubs, those clubs are basically like Mormon church. Because Joseph Smith was a Mason. And um, in all the Mormon churches, what they do is first they have like the big family gathering, right? It's a three-hour three church for a reason I'm trying to brainwash you. And they split you up into like little sections. And then they have you go just guys and just girls. Right, so first it's like a family, people your age, and then just guys and just girls. So, it's all based around music. Instead of bells, it's whenever you hear the music playing, the music playing, oh, this music, this song's on, it's time to sing a hymn. This song's on, it's time to go to the gym and listen to the devotional. This song's on, it's time to go to... Because music is science. Music is brain control. Music is mind control, and religion is the form of government we had before the seas rose by five miles from an ice meteor from the Oort cloud that was thrown at us as a weapon to make us all dumber and shit like that from the proto-humans. That's all fine and dandy. Why are you encouraging people to be stupid and beg for money online for less than fourth of a half of a cent while you pretend to be rich and you steal from people and you hang out with losers? You losers, why are you begging from a prancy fancy K-pop wannabe? Because you're losers and you can't provide for yourselves. Because you've been taught your entire life that being cool and being liked is better than being alive. See, the one thing I like the most about like camping and all that bullshit is you're left alone in the wilderness. You can be a millionaire, you can be a billionaire. If you don't know how to start a fire, your ass is going to freeze. You can be a billionaire. If you don't know how to fish, your ass is going to starve. It's just the way it is. And these motherfuckers don't know how to do shit for themselves. They join some shitty club to beg for money making shitty songs, and they can't even do that correctly. Because if they could, Crypto Witch wouldn't be stealing their game, right? These people are such posers and losers. They will find any reason to not contribute to society because that's their whole plan. The whole religion behind the religion is have you all be controlled so that they can all be the shepherds of the sheep. If there's no stupid sheep, there's no need for a shepherd now, is there? Right? So, like, as I understand it, religion back in the day, you would go through the parables. Like, you know how, like, I would say, like, when my niece was a kid, she would be like, uncle, where does the rain come from? And I would be like, the clouds. And that's not wrong. She was three. She, that, That's good enough for her, right? But 
now that she's like 10, I'm like, yo, you know, there's ions and electrons in the cloud, and do they have a positive and negative charge? And if they get too close to each other and the charges are just right, they <laughs> rain happens, right? Because now she's getting older, she can understand those processes, right? So what they call initiation used to be a rite of passage. When you were a kid, you were told, oh, the flood, and Jesus loves everyone, and God is everywhere. And you get a little bit older, and God is everywhere, because light can be in one can be in more than one place at one time, because a photon is all the other bullshit from quantum mechanics, right? But they didn't do that. After the flood happened, when there was a power struggle, people were like, hmm, let's use these myths and turn them into legends. Let's, turn, let's use these parables, turn them into legends as a way, a form of control for the masses. Again, like if you look into the, and these, these, these uh, uh, were recreated in a lab in like somewhere in Japan. They use the pyramid sarcophagi from, um, I forgot where it is, that the Apis bull thingy, the Apis bull experiment. And they used the granite and the fermentation to create electricity and the theory and plausibility and then the government got involved is that you can use electricity to create anti-gravity and then you can use anti-gravity to create time portals okay so allegedly the pyramids are giant supercomputers to turn electricity into anti-gravity and for time portal shit and there's one in syria that rome was building and shit like that i'm not getting into that right now so if you ever like think to yourself what am i doing with my life why am i like i've got like a master's degree and some bullshit but i still don't know how to balance my checkbook it's because they've been feeding you bullshit your entire life because none of this matters because back in the day they would be like you know god is everywhere and all that bullshit and then they would start teaching you science behind it and teach you the reason oh god's a particle god is light we are god god is everywhere this is an experiment this is an experience for ourselves to experience ourselves and all that bullshit but if they don't tell you any of that bullshit you're just gonna be like what's on tv Oh, look at that new beat in the song. Here's my money. Here's my money. And all the symbols that you're seeing every day are subconsciously programming you to go to that job, serve that billionaire, listen to that shitty song. That's why I want nothing to do with it. I really view it as you all are willingly screwing over humanity for less than a fourth of a half of a cent. It's so pathetic. Tiffany, you're a ghetto used goods whore. Auto-tune piece of shit. I want nothing to do with you. I'm going to go bang that smoothie, bitch. Fuck you.